back a snudge a mudge. We could just fold these towels. No, they're folded. I know, we could fold them again. We could, we could, but let's just not make double work because you know what I'm saying? Know what I'm saying? Know what I'm saying? Hello, know what I'm saying? Hello. I know what I'm saying. Mm -mm -mm. We were trying to give you the nice palm tree background, but, but it's sunny. It's a bad, it's a bad, like hazy light. It makes us look like one of those 80s music videos where somebody's like dancing in the shadows. Well, and they, and someone should be constantly dancing in my shadows <laughs> because let's be honest, you know, why Moonwalk. not? <laughs> That's a, what was that Michael Jackson video where he like leans? Come on. No. Yeah, there's one where he like leans a crazy amount. As a kid, I thought he had superpowers. It was a trick of the camera. Oh, no, I don't remember this one. Yeah. Hello, Ashley and Christina and Stacy from Ontario. Oh, and Ellen and Damari and Ashley. I think it's Damaris. Damaris, there was an S, sorry. Sorry, these- We're, we're wearing these, these super cool shades. <laughs> these shades are a little dark. I'm gonna have to probably <laughs> take them off because I'm gonna, I'm gonna take, get ready to take a nap. It, oh, Jessica's last day of school. Boo hoo! I've been home for three over three weeks with my children. No, I'm kidding. Prayers and thoughts are with you for that last day. <laughs> Good morning, Barbara. Wow, Jean. if they're just getting out of school now, what are they into? They go. It's Labor Day. Northern schools always they don't go back to Labor Day. Why are we so early? Because Disney World. Disney World controls our schedule because a lot of the kids over the summer work at the park. No, yes. that's not a thing. It's the truth. Breaking, breaking news. It's Maybe it's truth. because the schools don't want to cool, cool the... Trey, I'm telling Trey, you. So Trey told me that it's because I'm the schools don't want to pay for the air conditioning. No, I'm telling you, Disney World runs the schedule. I, that doesn't seem like a thing. Okay. It is. It is. It's a true story. Well, you, you live with her. You would believe anything she said. No. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Someone. Uh -uh. someone. Middle uh -uh. child. Just let me know. Someone told me that's true. It was me. Some Someone could have been her mom. <laughs> We go to school August twenty eighth. Last day is today. So, so and 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 oh, so they we start way before they do. August twelfth, right? I think. Yeah, right. so almost yeah. a month. But well, northern northerners, month. northern northern northerners are Labor Day, September fifth, sixth. Yeah, whatever that is. So like our summer's way done before theirs. And then just think, all those poor souls can't wear white to school. <laughs> That's actually not a rule here in Florida. We wear white all year long. I don't think is it really a rule anywhere. Only I, you if, can't only wear white like after Labor Day. Hoity toity. No, I don't know. I just always remember that saying, but I know that in Florida we just ignore that for sure. I definitely wear a lot of um, a lot of white. The clock isn't right. No. Yeah, I know it they is. run the AC yeah. all year Ten. long, but they don't. Um, Ten oh five. Yeah, is it's it wrong? a little fast. So maybe a no, little. No, we're fast. in the Eastern Time Zone. Oh, oh we have to, to sing. sing. Oh, we have to sing. Yeah, we got going before. Sorry. Oh, oh, hello, hello. sir. Would you like to say hello to everyone? Oh, he wants the glasses. Here. Hello. Here. Let me see Mason wear his. Oh, that's so nice. Yeah. Oh, yeah. you want me to do it? We'll just, not, just not Aunt Mary Mary? Okay. Oh. No, he wants you to wear them. Me to wear them? Oh, no, these are mine. They're hey, look. Actually. You could get the glasses over there. You want to wear those? No, get out of here. These are mine. All right, we're going to sing. Are we ready? Ready. We have to count. One, one two, two, one, two, two three. three. It's bulletproof. Filter free ready. ready. Fire away, fire away. Yes. Grab your coffee <laughs> and your laundry. <laughs> and we will fold and sip away. <laughs> <laughs> and now we have the world's largest container of bubbles is next to us. Um, this is not my brother. I am originally from Florida. We currently still live in Florida. This is a staycation. This is our family. This is my cousin. The two families come together. We have been staycationing for four years here close to our home. How did that answer questions for you? Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, about right. That was that's it. Right. That was it. No, no, no. Uh, we don't even know who that is. Oh, toddlers are the worst. Toddlers are the worst. Oh, my gosh. Toddlers my kid are the just worst. found an old juice box and just started drinking it. Yes, uh, yes, Alicia. He is getting very big. He is cute. Um, but he is also mean. No, and Take, he cannot can play with that. That, from that is a dangerous, those Capri Sun. Don't you run away. <gasps> Ooh, he's yeah. running. He's running. He's running. He's running. Do you hear his toddler feet? That's one. Of, oh, <laughs> and he threw it. That's not You're funny. Fresh. He's fresh. You fr go pick it up, Sophia. Somebody should parent him better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so here's the thing about toddlers. Don't miss having one. Um, love him. 
Uh, but I love that I don't have toddlers anymore. Toddler <laughs> feet are the scariest sound when you're asleep. <laughs> Toddler feet mean... Mine. No, mine. Mine. No, and that's the other thing. Every word out of that child's mouth is no and mine. And it's like, uh-uh, son, you met your match. This is mine. We, we do a lot of mine and no and... I, you know what? I should make the toddler dictionary. Yeah. It only needs like 10 words. Yeah. No. <laughs> you're a thief. Yeah, you are. You're, you're the, you're rac a, you're the you raccoon are. of children. You are a raccoon. That's what I said. You think raccoons are cute. You've got one. Right here. Yeah. Yes. Yes, from Capri the party. From Shay, party. you got yes, us. You yeah. got it. No, the, where are the other three? Well, they're around. So is right camera. here. Um, the boys are what? Are they still watching um, Ben 10 or what were they watching? Uh, Phineas, and Phineas and Ferb, I think, was on. Yeah. A quiet toddler is the worst. Yeah, when he's, qu when he's quiet, then you're like, what's he doing? Well, you know what? He was trying to, he's been trying to break into the garage constantly because... But we're on the second story, so yeah, there's, there's like stairs. Yeah, there's actual stairs. And at home, we don't have stairs, right? And of course, kids think stairs... So here are the two things I can tell you about stairs. And this is a southern thing, okay, because in most parts of Florida, and probably probably not, this may be not a, a southern thing, it's probably a Florida thing, because I think maybe in, like, Georgia... We have a lot of, I think I know where you're going, but go ahead. Okay, so we don't have stairs, No, right? we have a lot of ranch-style ranch homes. So Nothing long, has stairs. So kids yeah, yeah. assume here that if you have stairs, number one, you're rich. 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 Woo! Mom, the, I love the when they The kids are always home. like... They got two floors. I love when Woo! they come home from visiting, Hala. from visiting somebody's friend's house, and they're like, "Mom, mom, they're rich. Mom, they have two. They have stairs. They have. You go upstairs. You, you know, there's all sorts of. There's. You go downstairs. You're here. You're there. And it's like, okay, first of all, that does not mean that they're rich. That means they have a two story house. But that's fine. They probably. They. They might be well off. We don't know their business. Number two, the other thing stairs mean is somebody's getting hurt yeah. because they fall up. Our kids our, think they're like an amusement ride. Our kids fall up the stairs and fall down the stairs. I have news for you. Day two of the staycation. You fell. I fell down the stairs. Why? We are not used to walking up and down stair stairs. People. We're, not We're not stair, stair people. people. Okay? We are not. We are not stair people. So here's the thing. I am telling you, it is not good for me. Stairs are bad. Okay? Is it bad that I don't even think Florida, Florida really isn't southern no. because we become this like mush pot. That's what of I'm everywhere saying. Else. It's not a southern thing, it's a Florida thing. Because we do have oh, oh you found there you more, go. Glasses. more glasses. Good job. Those are mine. Those are good glasses? No, they're really for like glasses. Oh, oh, I was about to say, I was like, you gave that child yes, right I have a husband. Yes, he has a husband. So anybody who was who was concerned that I was unaware of a current situation here in our marriage. Uh, this no, is not, we are we're not married. We're we are, married to different people. Correct. And not only that, but we are biologically blood related. So, There's also that. <laughs> which, which is not a Florida Southern thing that we are currently doing. So no, there is, Florida is not a Southern state. I, I mean, we are, but do you know what I mean? Like we're not Southern like Georgia or Alabama no. or no. Actually, Kentucky. I wish, I wish we had a little bit more of that draw mm. that like, and I, you know what's funny? Oh, Aunt Lauren's in here. Hey! Says she misses her Mason. Hey, come see Aunt Lauren. If you're not at work, come out and hang out with us at the beach. Oh, you um, just chucked your phone across the... Sure did. At least you didn't chuck it into the pool. It could be worse. Mm. Um, Our yeah. laundry is downstairs. And I don't it's think, horrible. I don't think my laundry would ever get done if I had to go down a flight of stairs to Oh, wait. Do it. Uh, Aunt Lauren just let me know that we're just sort of related. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, wait, we're related. We're cousins. It's blood. She's like, no, no. And I was like, oh. It's like, no, our moms are sisters. It's pretty legit. No, she's like, mm, I don't know if I want to hang on that side of the family tree. You don't have hillbillies? Okay, so wait. Florida is weird because mm. if you stay on the coast, it's very, um, ur like, ur I wouldn't call it urban, but suburban, right? Right. But you suburban. go in, you go in an hour of Florida other than Orlando, and it's like farm town. Oh, we have tons of cows and farms here in Florida. Don't get me wrong. They're asking how you fall up a stair. You, you, you step trip, stutter. You, you step trip stutter. and then just fall. I had, onto I had it. a step stutter. We do that. But I yeah. fell down going down the stairs. I actually said to, to my uncle, his father, I said, Are there lights out here because I'm going to fall down those stairs? And he's like, It's light enough, you'll be fine. 
one, two, pow, 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 <laughs> fell all the way down. And he's like, oh, you really did fall down the stairs. And I was like, oh my gosh, Uncle Craig. <laughs> and I fell onto it. And I come out and I'm like ganky limping. And I did. I had a couple of bruises. So I did. Ganky leg. I ganky legged all the way down. But yeah, no, I did it. I managed to do it. But yeah, we, we aren't Southern because northerners all of the northerners have flocked to move here so anytime you meet somebody they're from new york or new jersey right. or michigan and our, if you meet somebody with a real like florida like the cracker yeah like the like they've been here forever uh -huh. family uh -huh. they actually have that like it's not a it's not like a sweet southern georgia draw it's like a cowboy it's a cowboy it's yeah a cowboy. it's cowboy but that's because we do have true florida cowboys I done told you. but now i am from we are from here born here raised here but our parents are from new york yeah so people are always like prosecco I don't... makes you fall up the stairs okay mm -hmm. but this was this was 5 45 a.m on sunday morning i had not Meh. had any prosecco <laughs> i was not i was not proseccoing it up it was from the night before no, it was not. Maybe. Yeah. So I fall up the stairs all the time, guys. <laughs> when we, oh my gosh. It's, it's easy to do. My first, my first college apartment was in North Florida and it was just far enough north that there were, I lived in a two story, it was like a townhouse with a second yeah, story. Yeah. And the stairs were carpeted and I yeah. struggled. I struggled. But one night I was coming down the stairs yeah. and I had like socks, like just socks on my feet. You were velcro. I cartwheeled. Ah! I cartwheeled. It was like somebody took a pinwheel and just drew on our wall because I was trying to lean back into the wall as I fell. So I just cartwheeled down the stairs. Oh, Robin said in her new store that they're in, they sell bulletproof coffee. Hey! hey! And BT Dub, you can click the link and try. You get 10% off with code Meredith10. But yes, uh, we're South Florida, Alicia. Yeah. We yeah. are South Florida. Yeah, 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 yeah. Florida born, ready to move. <laughs> oh, Danielle. I like it here. Um, and we do like that we can staycation. A lot of places you people come here to vacation. We're already here. Yeah. yeah, yeah Good yeah, morning yeah. from California. Good morning, Tammy. We're, so wait, we're not is Jacksonville. It, it's seven o'clock at Tammy's house. Yes. Look at you, you overachiever. Yeah, no, it's a three hour time difference. I don't want my eyes to be open at seven o'clock. Uh, this is so funny. I'm from Tennessee and you should see these southerners. Yeah, well, that's what I was saying. It's, it's not, it's not, um, we're not southerners in the sense of it just just geographically are we southern. well but the other thing is florida's a really big state like some states are you know like if you live in connecticut it's like you could throw a rock and get to the other right. side right well you you takes if you're from from tip from tip to top what is eight that like and a half hours eight and a half i half hours? think yeah. In a car? Yeah, it's I mean it's a drive. And when we when we drove the kids to Georgia Teresa, I love Gainesville. When we drove the kids to Georgia, it okay. took us 10 hours. Now we had to stop and pee in every dirty, ganky gas station. I in kids the state. have. Uh, yeah, this I one. I gotta like poo. Particularly, pull over. particularly your children have like dirty public restroom detectors. They love. It's like radar. To poop it's like they just point. It's like oh. Uh, uh, and, and then you're driving, and it's like, well, stop at that gas station, mom. And it's like, no, that shell looks like it has no, been. There's no lights. <laughs> no, I'm not stopping there. Like it's cool. We'll poop there. And it's like, why? Why do you ever want to poop? At what is that? What are those gas stations with the 76 on it? I don't even know. Do you know? But you know what I'm talking about. They, it's orange, orange 76 and blue. or yeah, whatever. Yeah. It's like, I don't think that's been working since 1976. <laughs> Please don't stop. But no, they do. They go. Panama City is Southern. Well, but you're in the Panhandle. Panhandle is Southern. Panhandle is Southern. There's, southern. It's something totally. Because you butt up to Georgia and what? Oh, Aunt Lauren says her kids like dirty restrooms too. Every is that kid, a thing? Do every kids? Every kid. Loves I think kids dirty. just want to do like a restroom tour. You know, you could make like a travel guide for kids, and it's just like visit all the restrooms of South Florida. Tennessee Southerners are not, got got nothing on Bama. Bama apparently is super Southern. Yeah, I don't know. What I do know is my kids do love a dirty. It's like it's like they wake up and they say, "Hey, you know what I want to do today? <laughs> I want to go to a dirty room. I want to get bathroom. Pepsi." And it's like, "What? <laughs> what did you just say?" And it's like, "I'm gonna lick the stall door, and I'm gonna make sure to touch this this little slidey piece, and then touch my eye because that ain't nothing like getting the stink eye." Rachel's giving us the secret. She says, "If you stop at a Hampton Inn, they have public bathrooms, and they're usually cleaner." Oh, well, I guess if you if you just so happen to find one. Who are you one, kidding? Mason's not looking for a bathroom. He's just pooping wherever he is. He's well, like, this is a good spot. I And he does just, he'll stop what he's doing and, and he squat down. And he stares at you. And he's like, oh, I'm pooping. I'm going right I'm now. right now. Oh, Another thing that are great about Tyler's. And I'm like, 
Well, but that's but your but your in laws have been here for a very long time, Aunt Lauren. So that's what we were saying. If you if you're Florida born and you're and you're it goes back 120, 140, 150, 280 years. No, no, that's Southern. No, no. we're from we're technically our bloodline is from upstate New York, right? Yeah. 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 Any who's will make Any who's will make Yeah. Hello, first time live, Melissa Porter. Welcome. Oh. Mine get grossed out by dirty bathrooms. Oh, well, that's nice well, for that's you. Well, that's the appropriate reaction. <laughs> yeah. That, oh, oh, my. That was his head. He didn't You're care. Okay. It's cool. Oh, Could be worse. Right. Could be worse. Oh. Um, Another thing about toddlers. Ah, Mason. <gasps> he did it. He tried so hard. Oh, he tried it a second time. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just a suggestion. Yeah. Aww. He also does the fake toddler cry. Why are the, like, you crying? Oh, miserable. Why but then you if you're crying? like, do you want pizza? He's like, I'm good. I'm good. Yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Where are you trying to go? Oh, now he's going to really lose it. Because Big Mama Trey, Big Mama Trey walked downstairs. Uh, Arizona right. is its own breed. Arizona is an odd place. It's like mm. Western and Southern. I don't even dog. know what to make of Arizona. Where in upstate New York? I don't know. Where were they from in upstate New York? Let's just say Albany because I know that place, but it's not. Oh, we're not. just making it. That's, that gate is there for your protection, sir. Hey, hey, hey. <sighs> Somebody's having their first bulletproof coffee in a month. There we go. Yay. Hello from Vancouver. Vancouver. Yeah, he's... This is about the time where it's like we need to go do something, or Mason's going to. Yeah, he um, starts getting a little stir crazy. He is. He is. And then as we the approach dogs, noon, no, no, no. This is a pet free no, this zone. This is a pet free zone. My dog is at doggy daycare, and she's, she's loving it. My dog was with my life. parents until she got evicted. Yeah. And now she's back home. Um, being Stony being Point, Lauren in and says. Out. Stony Point, Stony yes, Point. that is the place. Yeah. No, my dog is living the high life at doggy daycare. She got groomed, uh, bathed. She had so puppy playtime. So she had doggy time. spa day? She had a spa day. Did they paint her nails? I don't think so, but I probably so should have asked for that. So you'll have to follow that. up on that. Yeah, but no, but no. Daphne is very happy. St. Augustine is beautiful. I love it there. I love to visit St. Augustine. It is my favorite place to visit in the state. Have you experienced real snow? I've actually never seen it fall. I've seen it on the ground. I've landed in a place that had snow, but I've mm -hmm. never seen it mm -hmm. like fall out of the sky. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. a little bit mm -hmm. weird. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. We don't. Um, I've seen snow. Fall? Yes. I used oh, to have yeah, to walk boss. up it. Mm -hmm. Well, no, I, I mean, I, we lived. I was born here, but we lived in New York um, for several years you can while I was that? in elementary school. Yes, we have to walk up. But I mean, you can remember? It? Yes, I remember my feet just being like ice Do you blocks. remember a lot of elementary school? Because I don't. I remember being eight, seven, and walking up a hill full of snow. Okay, Sophia is texting me on my phone. She is sitting across from me, by the way, letting letting me know that she needs to. You Bye, guys Becca. need to know that she was the fisherman of the day yesterday. I got a skipjack and a Spanish fish. A Spanish fish, a Spanish mackerel, and a skipjack. Yeah, yeah she came over. She's like, I caught a Spanish fish. <laughs> sure you did. Was he so, from yeah. Spain? Yes. It was, he was a long from, swim. He was from Spain. Um, but yeah, so they actually have been fishing every night, and they've been catching some good stuff. Lots of snook. Snook. Big one. You caught a big one I yesterday. I caught a big snook a yesterday. Big and they caught a crab, but we had to let him go because we I had did. to explain to them, if you keep this crab, he will die. We caught a super weird crab. We didn't catch him. We found him yesterday at the beach. Super weird crab. He looked like a transformer. He was, he was ugly. The whole front of his body opened up. It was a very ugly spit. crab. He spit. He did spit. And he did. And it was gross. And I don't really want to, I don't want to be a part of Oh my crabs. God. M Marty met her husband in elementary school. Oh my gosh. Marty, that's so adorable. That's a long time. Well, welcome, Sean. Thank you for being here. Nebraska's great people. Now everybody's just shouting. It's like, shout out Nebraska. Yeah, well. Shout out Iowa. Well, because they're all like, well, we're talking about where we're from. But isn't that kind of the point that you should like where you live? Yeah, I think Everybody should. should like where you live. Yeah. There are cool things everywhere. Well, there are a couple of different trains of thought on that. So some people say that you should move as often as you can to experience everything. That seems like a lot of and not only does it seem like a lot of work, but it seems like that's a good idea if you're single or you don't have kids. Yeah. Because, let's be honest, okay, we were talking about this yesterday. Yes, these were Tarjay. We were talking about this yesterday when we were on, yeah, and my poor, 
I can't actually keep them on anymore. Um, we were talking about this yesterday when we were watching Tiny House Nation. Mm -hmm. And so we were debating, and a lot of the reasons that these people like to make these tiny houses is because they literally hook them up to the back of a truck and they drive them so they can live in all these different places, right? But let's be honest. If you're a parent, if you have kids, how on earth, how on earth can you be a minimalist and live in a tiny house? How I do you live? I want a tiny home, like, without my kid. Okay, that's just a she shed. And <laughs> you can have that, but the whole thing mm. is... Um, <laughs> One-legged crabs are easy to catch. They go round and round. Oh. That's so mean. <laughs> True. But um, so how do you live in 300 square feet with I, I would live. Oh, no. That, I was just about to say I could live in 300 square feet by myself. Right. Not, not by yourself. I'm saying you're married. You have children. So then I was Does that, watching. Is anybody in the feed live in a tiny house? So if you I want to know how you do it. Yeah. If you live in a tiny house, we're really interested to know if you have children, how on earth do you do this? Because basically the one end was a loft and it was just one bed. You're bleeding. So I know. It's my shingles. It's not uh, a shingle, but I cut my elbow the cut other day. Cut your elbow. Um. If you move a lot, I'm sure you wouldn't have a lot of stuff. Okay, which makes perfect sense. But what I'm saying is how do you how do you get to the point where you can be a minimalist and live with in three hundred square feet with kids? I think I think it's like a paring down thing where you're like, What do we absolutely like what Okay, so this is a good thing. When we were getting ready to come here, I walked through my kid's toy room. I filled up a bucket with toys that I was like, what does he need to play with in a week, right? And what you realize is, oh my gosh, my kid has so much stuff. That, like, there are toys in here that I haven't seen in months. I think you could totally pare down. Right. So totally. that's what it is. It's like a it's like a pare down, pare down, pare down, pare down, until you have just the necessities. You punch yourself and go to your own room. <laughs> you don't have an own room in a tiny house. That's the whole thing is it's just this little little space. They say you do a lot of outdoor living. You have to. You can, Because here's the other thing, too. It's like, oh, go to your room. It's my room, Mom whole thing oh my god mallory spent three months in a hotel room with three kids i you see, and i just don't understand how i mean you must just be at your wits end because to me that's just like i, I think you just i, don't know I think you families do that. i think families that do it i live in 900 square feet with my husband and an eight-year-old i think you just learn to be really we close and tighten it 900 i feel nine. like right around a thousand is doable like i could I could make that work. Our first condo was 800 square feet. Right, and I feel like but that's it was a just doable the two of us. that's a doable size, but I feel but I feel like I need to be able to go into a room and close Have a the lot door. of land and go outside go outside often is what they were saying. Oh, the business manager wanted me to remind you guys if you're in the Tampa area, July 22nd, you can come see us because we are going to be there and we're doing a, a meet and greet before the Cat and Nat Fun Show. So you can come and all of the information is in the events uh, on on our Facebook page. There is um, an event tab. If you click on that, it's going to tell you July 22nd. It gives you the name and the location of the restaurant. It's right down the street from the Straws Theater. The name of the yep. theater. Straws Theater in Tampa is where the Cat and Nat Show is. And if you want to purchase a ticket to the Cat and Nat Show, which you should because I've seen it. It's a delightful show. You get $5 off with a promo code. And the I'm really link. excited about going to the Cat and Nat Show. It's so much fun. It's so much fun. It really it's, is. I've already what been. Is it the Cat and Nat Super Fun Show? Fun Show. Cat fun Nat show. Fun Show. Cat and Nat Fun And I've show. already been. I've already seen it in San Diego, and it was a ton of fun. But you can come meet us and hang out with us. They are doing happy hour drinks, uh, drink specials at the restaurant that we're going to be in. So we're going to be in the Tampa area. Their show? What is their show? Oh, it's a fun show. It, the best, it involves, the best description I can give you. It involves a lot of different I've heard, I've heard, components. I've heard about the components, and I can't wait to see it live. Yeah. No, it's fun. It's fun. Um... I was in 750 square feet with five boys. Oh, oh. man. Oh, oh my. Man. No, I'm checking out of that. Yeah. Oh, mess message me. Yeah. No, but seriously, if you want to, you should totally come check out the show. Uh, it's going to be a blast. So we will be there. Um, and then uh, I'm trying to think. I guess we're not talking oh, look, about the other thing. This yet. is this is somebody's telling us you've never been to the UK. I did. So actually, my ex, my ex was British, and um, every time they took he took me to a relative's house in uh, England, I was like, <gasps> like it'd be like so for small. a family of six, and it would look like a house like two people would live in here. Because. It, Spaces. Just the, everything's smaller. The rooms are smaller. The kitchens are smaller. It was the first time I ever saw one of those washer and dryers in the same box. What is Cat and Nat? Deborah? Oh, Who are Cat and Nat? They're a delight. When they're we're my done. Friends. When we're done, you have homework. 
<laughs> they're, they're a delight. Use the Google machine. Yeah, they're How big friends. was the snook? I don't know. How big was it? It's pretty big. Monstrous. One of the bigger ones I've ever caught. Monstrous. Yes. But you know, know what else you have to do Arm when light. when we leave here is you have to go over and follow Eric because he's now on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter at the Fruity Pop. And he has his own space. He's Doing becoming the socials. He's becoming social, everyone. <laughs> so he's got his own Instagram and his own Facebook and his own Twitter. I love how you drop into the um are we calling it British? It's what are we? Totally I feel like British. all of her accents sound like the Muppets. <laughs> I feel like every time she does That's an accent, mean. it's like the Swedish Muppet. Like, doo doo doo. What are you Googling? Sophia's over asking there? Siri questions in the corner. Yeah. Yeah, no, they're great. We do. Yes, do we look do them up them. on Facebook. Kat and, and Matt are very funny. And people always, people are always like shocked where they're like, "You're friends? You guys are friends?" <laughs> and it's like, "Yeah, well, we we talk. We don't Snapchat. Neither of us have a Snapchat as I of yet. I, I, I can't do the snappy chatty. I'm not. I I I had Snapchat and it was very short lived because somehow it was where people could send me public messages. And oh, yeah. We were getting some not G-rated material on the Snap. I wasn't Snapchat. on Snapchat for an hour, and all of a sudden I rolled over to look at my phone, and it was like, ah! <laughs> And there was a picture. There were, there were parts and pieces and twigs and berries. It that, was not good. Um, my daughter has a phone that does not make phone calls. Yeah, so my daughter's phone, phone is allowed. She's allowed to record video of herself, or um, I think she has a couple of games on there, but she does not the have... The BM has very... I don't know how he does it, but there's like parental magic Yeah, Yeah, and, and she can't make phone calls. The, my, my child who does have a phone, um, my 12-year-old has a phone because he walks to school. He, so... Thank you, Debbie. Yeah, it was Brianna. It was twigs and berries. Yeah, Straight so up twigs and berries. um, uh, but, but yeah, so. You can FaceTime audio and FaceTime and text. Okay, thank you so much for filling us all in. But yes, my twelve-year-old does have a phone and he can use it for to to call, but he is only allowed oh to call my God, me. So I have to tell this adorable story. So occasionally, when she goes away, the kids will come and stay with us for a couple days. And Sophia, go play, go play. So exit the the area. The, the oldest gets dropped off with the younger kids at the elementary school and he helps out a little bit in the morning and then he makes his way his school is right across the street right but it's a bit of a walk how far would you say that is half mile half a mile but it's all like a school campus right so he's walking outside but it's all a school campus on a sidewalk not on he, the street or anything he'll text before he leaves the school to say like good morning I'm on my way to um, school. And then when he gets there, he sends you this message. And they're always so sweet. Like, okay, I made it to school. I love you. Have a good day. And it, there's something funny about, like, a, he's, like, basically a teen boy, right? Teenager. Like, teenager. A teen boy just being like, I love you, Uncle Eric. Have a good day. <laughs> like, every time I get it, I'm like, oh, my God. And then oh he'll, send God. Me, he'll send me, when I drop them off, he always, the rule is you text me when you leave, you text me when you get there. So he'll send me gifts or gifs, however you say Arrive. them. And it'll be, it's like the woman from Dance Moms where she's like, <laughs> Two snaps, whatever, and he'll be like, "I'm here, bam, bam, bam," and I'm like, "Okay." And then, I, and then all of a sudden, I kept, I got that GIF like three days in a row, and I'm like, "Why aren't you using a different GIF?" And he's like, I, "I didn't know how to find them. This was just on the phone." And I was like, "Oh, happy birthday, happy Mary birthday!" Beth. Yeah. So no, he, um, he, he doesn't actually call anybody or text no. anybody on his phone. It's no. just to get a hold it's of me. Back and forth to school. He really is. A, he is. He is. He a very is the sweet sweetest kid. little yeah teen. His Facebook and IG is is at, at the, the Fruity, Fruity Pop. The Fruity Pop. P O P. At the Fruity Pop. Yes, yes. A GIF, GIF. However you call it, I don't know. Whatever it is, but it was a de it was delightful. Yes. My seventeen no. year old had a phone until she texted me from the back seat. The yeah. kids are totally so they just figured out how to. What is this called? They have a. They can do FaceTime audio or or FaceTime so, but, call because we're on Wi Fi. But, but, but only Dave us. set it up that there's only like family members in the call thing. So like the phones are constantly ringing and it's just like the kids calling each other from like room to room. Like well, they're I'm in standing the dining next room. to me and I'm they're in the calling me from iPad. I'm in the yes at the fruity pop. Yep, you got it. That is it. Can you please tell me where you got the bathing suit you were wearing last night? Oh, Katie, we were just talking about this morning. Um, I actually got that swimsuit because we did a, I did a shoot with Disney, and they bought me swimsuits. Yay, Disney. So um, they bought me those suits, and I would have to look inside of the, the label to see who it is, but I want to say it was Luck, Lucky Brand, maybe? That sounds right. I is think, it Lucky Brand? I think, I think um, but right. they bought me that. I got that last year when I did the shoot with um, Deva from My Life Suckers, and Disney got us bathing suits. 
So, which was super nice because I love that suit, but um, I didn't buy it. So, I could, I could look in the tag, but I want to say Lucky Brand. Um, and this one, I got this one too, and I don't even know what this is, but... But um, this is just a, a basic black mom suit. <laughs> oh, look, we're not alone. All these moms are like, oh, my kids call me from upstairs. <laughs> Everywhere. They're just, the, the best is like, I, you're next to me. The best is Sophia when they're sitting texting there. is sitting in front she of us was texting five, this not phone. five feet from me, and she's texting me. Oh, uh, well, thank you. Getting ready for a five-hour toddler play date at my house. Well, Bethany, welcome. Oh, my gosh. Welcome. Bethany, I feel your toddler. We go home tomorrow. We're done. We Make do. And do. tomorrow morning, bright and early. So I've already packed two suitcases. We'll have She's to go through. She's such a mom, right? So I wonder if that's the difference of, like, two dads at my house because we're just like, we'll get it later. We're like, we're like we'll get it later. I have, oh, a no. feel, I have a feeling, like, checkout time is going to come and we're just going to be putting things in garbage bags. No, <laughs> I, I always, I have to get us packed up. We can have our day. We can do our fun. And then I told, um, I told the business manager he needs to pack the car tonight because he wants to go back and fish tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. I don't know that I have fish and I me said, again. And I said, that's fine. You can fish. Because our checkout is at 10 a.m., I said, but everything needs to be done so that the only thing we have to do in this house is rinse off and change our clothes. Because no. I am not driving home no. 45 minutes with sand Smelly. in my crack. Yeah, no. I am not doing it. I had sand in my crack the other day. I was chafing. <laughs> I was chafing down there. I was like, no, I'm not doing that. There's no way I'm going to spend 45 minutes with sand in my crack. So, Oh, my God. Her what's kid a called from the bathroom and was like, bring toilet paper. Yeah. Yeah. That's a th No. And we, we laughed this entire time because it's like this was a trip. Yes, this was not a vacation. We we had a blast, and we loved hanging out together, but you still have to cook. We cooked every meal we didn't eat out. We did every dish, you know, which is good because we have a bunch of kids, so it would be super expensive to try to fly yeah, away. this would be really hard. And this was And cheap, I don't think I would option. be brave enough to put Mason on an airplane yet. Yeah, oh, it's, you're going to Marco in November? That's everyone else. That's very nice. Marco is a lovely nice. place. Yep, 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 <gasps> yep, yep. Newfoundland, Canada is three degrees today. See, that's just... I don't, I don't know. I can't wrap my head around that. I don't know why. You would... Why? No. I'm, I'm struggling to understand. The husband calls for TP more than the kids. Mine, too. Yeah. Yeah, it's a trip when you take the kids. Because we sat there and looked at each other, and it's like, if we didn't have kids here, what would we do? And it's like, anything we nap, want. Nap. nap. I my... tried to nap yesterday, and Sophia walked in and shook me. Yeah. And I had just fallen asleep, and she's like, didn't you get my text? And I'm like, so I throw my phone at her. I'm like, get out! My toddler, Couldn't go back to My sleep. toddler's just figured out that, like, he can do this to me while I'm sleeping. And then to try and, like, make it, like, so I don't get upset, he goes, eyes? <laughs> eyes and it's like yes that's my eye good morning uh amber's going to disney in september good luck the most magical place yeah where you get heat strokes you so know a lot of careful. people really love disney yeah I, I i mean i you know it's a lot of people love the diz look disney is great i just don't want to take my kids there what i would love to do with the kids is take them to what's that um for something oh i do want to try disney's fort wilderness fort wilderness i would like to take them there because i but, feel like you could almost make a trip out of just like the pool and the yeah camping. but I, I, I have my youngest has never even been to disney world we live we live three hours from orlando my seven-year-old has never even seen disney world Shame. and and sophia sophia was two she doesn't remember anything <laughs> We are three hours from the mouse, and my kids have seen nothing. Well, it's but it so used to be, hot. I feel like when we were so younger, expensive. I feel like when we were younger, there were off times of year that you could go, and the park wasn't like super busy. But now it's just well, not even that. It's so expensive. A day it pass is, really is outrageous. Expensive. Disney is really expensive. It, Vanessa just yeah, came back from Disney. People love Disney. People Look, love it. I'm not saying I dislike Disney. I'm just saying it's very expensive and very hot. It is warm. And so, you know what we did? We took the kids. This is, we're so mean. We took the kids to Orlando. And they were like, oh my God, you're taking us to Disney, Disney World. And we're like, no. no. But there's this theme park that's super <laughs> ganky down the street. And it's called the Fun Spot. And we took them there. You drove all the way to Orlando and took them to the Fun Spot. We did. That's cruel. No, it was great. They had a blast. They rode all the rides. Then we took them into the arcade. They won a bunch of tickets. We went to Pizza Hut. That was spring break like four or five years ago. It was awesome. They were so excited. I remember that. So excited. I remember that. Yep. No, we didn't take them to Disney World. We did not. So if Disney World wants to pay for a trip for me and my family, call me. We'll come <laughs> check it out. But until then, no. Yeah. They're from they're Orlando. They're from Orlando. And they haven't, and been. haven't been. Marissa All right, Marissa, said. we feel better. Yeah. I didn't go to Disney for the first time until grad night, and we live three hours away. There you go. Well, and that's true. I don't. 
think my parents ever took me to Disney World as a child. Uh, I think my mom and dad took us I don't remember once. it at all. Maybe they took us. Legoland, Legoland was great. Legoland is cool. Legoland, Legoland is Legoland is fantastic. But there's a, there, what's the age window for Le Legoland? I would say like Matias is at the top, right? I'd say 12, 13, is yeah. It's like the top. And I would because say Because it's more geared, which three, is kind of what I like about it. It's a part three, geared to like... Three to twelve. Yeah, like it's, three. Your whole, now your whole family could go. I think bigger kids could get something out of it too. But it's like geared to. I'd say three to twelve or thirteen. But the great thing about Legoland was they have a ton of stuff for toddlers to do. So when you go to these theme parks, a lot of times you can't take your toddlers right. on any rides. Legoland, right. you can. Uh, well, yeah, that's the whole thing about Disney is it's not it's not it's not necessarily affordable. I have been chewed to pieces since we've been out here. Look at this. Yeah, you're, the, I don't know, sweet meat, they're after you. Yes, Boca Grande is wonderful, and the, and I'm going to give you the secret right now. The time to come to Boca Grande on a budget is now. It's summertime, because I got, who comes, where do the people who actually own the houses here live? Are they from, like, up north? Yeah, they're northerners. So northern, this is like a fishing enclave, right? But the time to be here is when it's gorgeous in Florida, which is, like, January, February... December. Oh, tarpon season? No, no, I'm saying the island is crawling with people when it's cool and nice. Right. That's when it's crawling right. with people. November, December, January. Yeah. Maybe February. Um, and then this time of year, it gets really warm. Now, you can tarp, you could do late season tarpon fishing October now. October would be late season. Yeah, so I mean, you could. You could, from between now through October, you, can tarpon you tarpen. Fish. So you come here and I fish. I just caught a tarpon. Yeah. You come here and fish. Uh, uh, Boca Grande is fun. And beautiful I beaches. I, I don't know. Have we taken any pictures at the beach? My Instagram account has a picture at the beach. I took. A, I actually took Very some pretty. photo shoot pictures of uh, the calendar <laughs> I'm going to do. I'll put them up on Instagram. I think next year I'm going to do a calendar. We um, we used a local uh, realty company. Yeah, we just because the realty the, the realty companies here all all do the rentals. Yeah. They probably. I don't know if any of these are even allowed. Are they allowed to do our, it? Airbnb's? We one year know. did a VRBO, but I like it better having the company in town because if anything's a problem, you just call them and they come. Yeah, right I out. don't know the answer to that. I just know that we looked at a bunch of different ones, and we and we literally we'll go home and in in a month and a half, two months, we'll be like, okay, time to book because we scoop them up before somebody else gets it, and this is the cheapest time of the year. Yeah, and and next year will be year five, so fun, fun. But all right, make sure to head over and check out Bulletproof. You get 10% off with Bulletproof, my code, Meredith10. To make sure to head over and like at the Fruity Pop on Instagram, Twitter. Shout out to Michigan Sheila. Um, I hated Florida. <laughs> 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 um, uh, go, uh, go check out and like on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at the Fruity Pop. And if you can, um, come and hang out with us in Tampa on July 22nd, um, 5, 5 o'clock. And um, the twenty second. If you go to the Facebook events, uh, you can click I'd that like you're to coming. Learn sign language. Okay. Well, you take a class, um, and then you can sign up and let us know that you're coming because we do have to call the bar and let them know how many people oh, are planning yeah. on attending. So that is a have thing a lovely that day. So have a great day, and we'll see you guys later. DC, that's a fun place. Bye bye. bye.